Hi, in this video we'll automate your client intake. First we'll create a form that you can embed in your website and then whenever that form is completed, so whenever it's filled in, a uh, new contact is going to be automatically created in your Outlook. Uh, from that point, you can easily import contacts to Matter 365. So let's see how we can automate all of this. We'll start from office.com and we'll use two Microsoft applications, Microsoft Forms and Microsoft Power Automate. Uh, we will start with Forms to just create this new form that your clients will be filling in. So here it is. We will create a new form. You can choose a title for it. In my example, let's say this is client intake form. You can add a description if you want. And we're gonna add a few fields. So let's say I need a te text field for name. I'll say that this is required. I'll add another text field for email. And let's say it's required as well. I'll do this again for phone number and maybe just one more company name. And okay, in my example, this is enough. Of course, you can you can add as many of these uh, fields that you would like. So this is fine. Uh, okay, four, that's it. Uh, we can preview this to see how it looks like. Uh, we can change uh, the theme of it. I won't get into this now. This is more just a, a look of it. Uh, but the functionality that we need for our example is here. So the next thing I want to do is get back here. And now that I have a new form, I will go into Power Automate to create a workflow that will automate uh, creation of contact in Outlook whenever this form is filled. So we will go to my flows and we will create a new flow. So let's just see what we have here. Yeah, we will build our own flow from, from starting from blank. Flow name can be, um, let's say, client intake flow and a trigger will be okay we already have it offered here so whenever a new response is submitted to Microsoft Forms that will be a trigger for our flow to do something and then we will say what that something might be so this will trigger the, the, the start of our flow okay so whenever a new response is submitted we need to pick which form because we might have 10 different forms. Uh, in our example, we have, yeah, we already see that I created one previously. So this one is client intake form. So let's use this one and let's say new step. Now we will need to do something that's called get response details. If we don't do this, we won't be able to uh, use these response uh, fields, so fields like name, email, phone, and we will need those because we want to assign them to a new contact. So uh, just do the same thing that I'm doing here. Use this, get response details, and you will need to pick which form was it. Again, it's our client intake form. And response ID, uh, there, there's going to be a value uh, offered to you. So nothing too hard. We're just going to use whatever is offered to us. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Now we can continue with things that make more sense for us. So what would we like to do when a new response is submitted? So as we said, we want to create a contact in Outlook. So let's see what do we have offered when we click Outlook. Yeah, you can see a lot of different things. Create a contact, create event, send an email, a lot of options. So we need this one to create a contact. And now we will choose in which folder the contact is going to be created. Let's say it's my contacts folder default. And now the information about this contact. And now we're using the, the data that was provided to us by our customer through the form. So uh, given name of our contact. And now as soon as I clicked here, 
you see that these are the options that I can use. So whatever was pulled from the form, uh, what was the company name, phone number, email name, also what was the time when someone submitted a response, if that's of any importance here. So for the given name, I'll use name, and I'll also map uh, other fields that we chose to collect. So for home phone, let's say that this is the phone number. Then for email address, this is email. And for company name, this is company. So as you can see, uh, contacts in Outlook have a lot of different uh, fields there to fill in. So if you like, in your form, you can add all of these or some of these, or maybe just keep it simple like we did now. And then later when you communicate with this client, you will pick up uh, more details about him. So uh, it's up to you to decide how you would like this form to, to look like. Anyway, whatever fields you added to this form, uh, those fields are gonna be available here so you can actually uh, capture them in a Outlook contact. So I'm done with this, I can click save. And now my flow is already ready, let's say that. Uh, so if I, if I submit a new response, an, a contact will be created. And then it's up to me to manually uh, import this contact to Matter365. However, uh, the problem with this is that I won't know when there's a new contact created and I won't know which contact is new. For example, let's say I have 2000 contacts in my Outlook. It's gonna be very hard for me to find the new contact that was created through the form. So I will add a new step here to notify me whenever this happens. So I will know that I need to do something. So again, I will use Outlook. And now I will use this event to send an email. I will send an email to myself saying, hey, this contact is a new one and you need to import it to Matter365, just as a to-do item uh, that, that I need to complete later. So let's do this. I will use my email for this test, test account. So I'm sending it to myself. The subject is gonna be a new contact submitted through the web form and here please import it to matter 365 and I can show here like which contact I need to import so contact name and choose from here and let's say email maybe to two people have the same name, so you want something else to be able to differentiate them. So let's say email, email, this. Okay, so this is gonna be enough for me to know uh, that there's a new contact that I need to do something with. So I will save this. It's saving, okay. It says your flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it. So uh, let's test this. Uh, and actually, I won't uh, test it here. I will try to put this on my website. So, yeah, I will use this code. If you have a website, uh, just give this uh, to your website guy. He will know what to do with this. Basically, he will just embed this form uh, into your contacts page. So I will quickly do that on my other screen. It will take me a couple of seconds. Okay, the form is here. Let's see how it looks like. So let's go to my website. Okay, in the contact page. Yeah, this is my usual contact form here. However, I embedded this client intake form that we just created. And now let's say, Michael Scott, his email, michael at something.com and his phone number and his company name. Okay, and we will submit this. Great, so this is what your client will do on your website. And now let's check how this flow uh, turned out. So is it working or not? Let's go to Outlook. There should be an email in my mailbox telling me what I need to do. Yeah. 
here it is and it says there's a new contact please import it contact name is michael scott and this is his email so the last thing i need to do i will go to matter 365 whoops not the website but the application okay i will go to contacts and i will import from Office 365. Uh, so this contact is already in my Outlook contact, so I did not show that, but you will see that it's there. Yeah, so Michael Scott, the most recent one. We can see the email. Let's confirm. And this import is going to take a couple of seconds just to start it. Just to start it, and it's going to last for another second or two. So when this is completed, we will show that the contact is indeed here. And then, as I said, it's up to you to uh, later connect with the client and find out more info about them if more info is needed. So our form was uh, pretty short. It took just uh, name, company, email, and phone. But that might be all you need to just start the conversation with the client and then later, uh, as you know more about them, uh, you can use the other contact fields in Matter 365. So, yeah, this is now done. So, created one successfully, failed zero. That's fine. Let's just refresh the page and show the contact in Matter 365. Michael Scott. Yep. There's his phone, there's his email, and as I said, you can even use all of these fields in your form or just uh, decide to fill them in later. Anyway, let's get back to the flow. So what we did today, uh, we created a new Microsoft form that we decided to use on our website. And we said that we will create a flow that creates a new contact whenever a customer submitted a response. So we used all the info from the form to create this contact and we created an email notification for us to know uh, when that happens. 